Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create multi-class classification model. Okay, so in the last video, we saw uh, how to do uh, logistic regression, and in this video, we'll see like how to use uh, how to create models for uh, for those data where we have multi-class output. Okay, and we'll be using softmax. So for softmax, we will be using cross entropy. In last video, we use binary cross entropy for logistic regression. Okay, okay. I will be quickly importing all the steps I need. So torch import torch dot nnsnm import uh, torch dot optim as optim. And then I'm just going to need few libraries from sklearn. So I will be importing data sets instead of import. I'll have to write from data set import uh, load iris. So I'll explain like what this data set is. For that, I'm just quickly going to import all the steps. Uh, sklearn dot model selection import train test plate okay from sklearn pre okay standard scale that's all all right so now uh, here we are using sklearn library so basically sklearn is very popular in machine learning and uh, it's not just provides uh, models but we can also actually data process. I mean, initially we need to process data like uh, you can say filling the missing values uh, uh, and other stuff like scaling, normalization, everything we can do with the scale learn easily. That's why I have imported a couple of libraries from scale learn. And now the thing is uh, we are going to work on Iris data set. And what is Iris data set? So it has a uh, flowers data set where uh, with on the basis of four features uh, we can predict which which flower it will be having i mean we can predict a flower name uh, based on uh, i mean uh, petal length petal width sepal length and sepal width these are the four feature it has so i can show you here quickly let's say let me load it first load iris it's very straightforward and I can show you like what is iris. So if I so here it has four columns. I mean these four. So this, this these are the features. So to show you properly, let's say if I write feature names, then I can see what are the inputs it has. So sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. And if I see the target, then iris target names and these are the target names Setosha, uh, Versicolor, Verzinica. All right, so these are the type of flowers we can uh, predict with the help of these four features. All right, okay, so what we are going to do next is we are going to extract our x and y. So x is uh, input and y is output. So what will be our x? So x will be iris dot data, and y will be iris dot target. Okay, I'll quickly show you the shape of x and y. Alright. Okay. So it has 150 columns and four. Uh, sorry, 150 rows and four columns, and this is one dimensional. Uh, 150. I mean 150 uh rows not rows actually 150 items directly it is not actually uh there's no columns here it is just direct having uh 150 items here all right now what we are going to do here is uh we are going to split this data into train test so that's why i've imported uh, this train test split so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use to interest plate. I'm going to put some uh, configuration there. Before that, let me define the variables. Okay. 
x train uh, x test y train y test that's all and we are going to pass x y and uh, test size i guess yeah test size 0.2 and random step 42 that's it that's all uh, x train x test what is going here y train y test i think it's correct now okay i don't know like why this is being here why it could be subject to license let me do one thing i am just going to cut it i'll create new block of code okay or I mean, let me try pasting it here if i try to type extreme dot save will this work yeah i don't know like why this red color is coming here so now instead of 150 it has x10 as 140 rows columns are same x test will have something 30 y train set and y test set that is so all of them okay so uh, okay so now this is y value and this is y value this is train y value this is train test y value okay all right now the thing is uh, we are going to if i show you the data of x train you will notice uh, these data are varying i mean its range is 0 to 10 or something like that so what we want is we want to keep all of them at same scale so we will be using standard scalar to scale it at uh, with mean 0 and and standard deviation 1 so how we can do that for that first we'll have to create an instance of standard scalar standard scalar and uh, i can uh, just do fit transform x train x test now these are transformed if i see it now i'll see it as value in between uh minus maybe probably minus two to minus plus two uh, since uh, the standard deviation is 1 so it may be slightly higher than 1 okay fine now uh, since this is an array I will have to transform this into tenses then we can use it with the pytorch alright so to transform it with tensor we are going to use xtrain tensor equal to torch.tensor do i need this float tensor and uh, float tensor i think if it's it's if it's in caps this 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 x underscore train we can do this way as well and we can do this way and x train and x test tensor go to torch dot float tensor x test and similarly y train and y test will be long tensors and these are the values in one and uh, uh, 1 and 0 1 2 okay so what i can do here i forgot to show you how y data looks like so let me show you quickly so if i show you how y data looks like 
so it is in one zero and two all right okay fine now we'll be creating uh, our model so i'm just going to put one comment create multi class classification model okay what is that and now as we do we'll, we'll write one class here multi class model and we need to inherit it from model then we'll do all the boilerplate thing the init okay fine this is self and uh, what is happening next super class init and self okay so the first thing is like we'll be using linear model uh, to form to linear model first so this will be our input input to hidden layer so we are keeping 10 hidden layers here and four input for the four input features as we saw here we had four input features right sepal length sepal width petal length petal width for that like uh, it will be four uh, input and 10 hidden layers fully connected one that's why i'm adding fully connected and then i can define self dot fc2 from nn linear and this will be 10 and then 3 so the output we need is uh, 3 so either it will be uh, satosha or versicolor or Bazinica, right so this so in uh, numbers start with a 0 1 2 so we need three nodes uh, to so like which uh, whichever will be higher will consider that probability of whichever will be higher okay so uh, now we can define forward so forward pass for forward pass what we can do is we can cause self and then x as we do and uh, okay if you uh, think it properly a classification problem is not a linear problem linear regression problem so maybe you can understand in this way like uh, some some sorts of data will be here some sorts of data will be here and some sorts so it will need some kind of circular or something like uh, architecture diagram to segregate the values so it is not linear so in that case what we can do we can we, we can uh, use uh, activation function so uh, we will be using relu so why we are using relu so relu is used for uh, so it is a rectified input okay so basically when there's uh, any value less than zero it will rectify it to zero okay and if there's any value of zero it will consider it so we type relu okay what was whether it was small or cap i think relu will be in small And here we can pass self dot fc1 fully connected one and then here we can pass x okay and this x will return a linear equation and then we'll passing it into the relu so let me write it here so that you can apply relu activation uh, as we need positive numbers for probability okay now this x we can pass it into the next uh, fully connected layer that is hidden layer okay the one thing i would like to write here is it's a hidden layer to output layer this will be three classes okay so here we will be applying uh, will will not be using activation function since that is output and we can use softmax with uh, cross entropy so that uh, it will first try to 
get probability and then uh, find out the loss okay now our uh, model is ready now we'll be creating instance of model model equal to multi-class model and we are not passing anything this time the second thing which we do always criterion we need to create criterion and this will be an endorse cross entropy loss and i can use sdg but let's use adam this time so you can also read about adam why adam is uh, good over sdd and so there are so many optimizers available let's use uh, adam so in here we pass model dot parameter so in case you are wondering what is model dot parameter i can show you list okay i cannot use it here since i define model here i will show you in next line okay so let me just type list model dot parameters now you'll see around too many parameters right now if you, uh, at least understand this way like there are 10 output and 4 input then devices and all the steps and all the pin are fully connected okay fine uh, i'll remove it now the thing is me we need to define some variable epox equal to 5000 or 4000 is fine and uh, losses equal to empty array we start LU is range num epox okay first thing let's predict with the model model x train tensor okay now the second thing is we need to calculate the loss criterion y okay so y prediction y tensor we'll be appending it here and we'll reset the optimizer gradient and then we'll um, go back so uh, to find out uh, gradients and calculate the weight we'll be just going backward and then optimizer will be updating it okay i forgot to add print statement here so let me just add one condition uh, yeah this one and uh, print will be why it is not showing some suggestion man okay so now it is showing suggestion as i write this way so that's why it's showing me this suggestion okay fine okay it's, I'll, I'll do one thing i'll start it from here like let me reshape The model was already trained, that's why it started from very less value. Okay. Do one thing, let's plot this and then see if this is uh, showing correct value all right so i'm just going to copy paste uh, the plotting logic which i have been writing it every time okay what happened now the range here plot losses range okay not sure what's wrong with this did i do any spelling mistake plt is not defined Okay, I have forward to import uh, matplotlib 
live as five plot as plt quickly i'll go back and run it again well, as you can see the initial loss started from here and then it went down gradually uh, till 4000 although like i believe we can reduce uh, we can reduce this from 4000 to 1500 or something like that and now if we want to predict some things so what we can do here is we don't need gradient there so with uh, torch dot inference mode and then what we can do is we can uh, print y prediction y prediction equal to model dot x test tensors and then and then uh, what we can do is we can find out torch dot max y prayed and uh, this is to reduce dimensionality so right now if we see prayed it will have three dimensions right so I mean three items uh, in three columns so that will reduce it it will reduce it to one and uh, then what we can do we can just count it and then we can just extract the item and at the end what we can do is we can just divided with a length white test tensor and print accuracy show okay, just hold on I just wanted to put this in uh, accuracy okay just let me do the thing as quickly I want this thing so I need maximum of uh, white test per Spread and one so basically the one is there are uh, to reduce dimension and uh, this white taste prediction is the max value of each out of all the predictions I need to and the predicted uh, we are calculating total I mean percentage of it so let me just quickly run this and see what is happening okay now it's uh, Mode is not defined. Okay. Now it should work. Yeah, it's giving hundred percent accuracy, right? So what what else you can do is like you can try to test mode. And see if how this works okay so this was uh, it from this video uh, thank you for watching have a nice day